just a quick question for you, for those of you who've found my channel over the years. How many of you remember the Z House? <laughs> How many of you remember the the hype that the community had for just the PPSH being revealed alone in Gorilla Grovey? Like, like, were any of you around the Zombies community back then to remember this, right? Like, oh, I remember when the Z House was, like, first started with, with uh, it was what, is Lex? Oh, who was it? It was Lex, Pat, uh, Chucky, Jack, and Matt, right? The little MC Sport, Mick Sports, Mick Sports Hawk, uh, Lonely Mailbox, uh, MRT Lex, Mr. T Lexify, Smith Plays. I can't remember Chucky's thing. I don't remember his. Um, but anyway, point being, like, like Zeon was like a big thing, right? During BO3, and I think they did a year two, like during BO4, maybe. I don't remember exactly. But then you had, like, Z Zombie World Championships, like, yet. And all this stuff going on, right? And then you had the hype behind BO3. Like, generally, the zombies community was, like, the most in love with BO3 ever. Because it was the Blundell formula, perfected. And you had, like, things like Gorak Rovi, which was the inverted Dereese, which was, depending on who you ask, is better or worse. Uh, for my opinion, I, for my money, even though I can't play a lot of these maps, I can objectively, objectively look at these maps and say, these are, like, ridiculously good. Um, the only one, in my opinion, that's, like, kind of, eh. Not, not really all that fun is Re Revelations. Every other map, like Garod, even even Zetsubo, Shadows, Giant, uh, Horizon, and of course Chronicles was like a huge thing. But like, generally BO3 is like regarded as like the pinnacle of zombies for a reason. And like, you know, a lot of people at this point, it's like IW, what did IW do, do that was good? Oh, all they really did was good was Mephist... Meph I can't say the name. Mephistopheles, there we go, I think that's the right way. And the super restrict. Like those were the good parts of IW and Space Line. Space Line was a good map. Everything else but but that. Not good. The World War II zombies, like first map. Good. The rest of the maps, not good. Like and then BO4, of course, everyone like eighty percent of the community did not like BO4. Twenty percent did. I'm part of that twenty percent. And it's like we haven't really had a great, like, huge community driven, like everybody's loving it type of situation since Black Ops three. Like, even the multiplayer, like, a lot of people say Black Ops 3's multiplayer is really solid, too, like... I played enough to get third prestige in this game for mul uh, multiplayer, and I can say, yeah, it's really good. Solid. And, oh my god, I hate Nuke so I too. Now, obviously, the uh, sound's gonna be not as good as Cold War before, but... Dude, I'm just enjoying being back on a classic, man. This is... I mean, yeah, it's the giant, but it's... it's Darius, man. Like, this is, this is my start. And my start was knocked but all the way back in World War, right? And, uh, man, it's, it's crazy to think. Like, zombies, zombies, the, zombies and the MCU both started in the same year. You guys ever realize that? 2008. And, of course, we had Dark Knight in 2008 as well, which is actually still, like, the Batman and Dark Knight are, like, the two best Batmans, so don't forget Dude, headshots are so clean in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Box is not here. Okay. Anyway, the the point I'm trying to make is like it I I hope zombies gets good enough and hype enough to where the community's loving it, the game is good, like like BO3. God man, like I miss this game. You know, yes, like Cold War has more like accessibility, has better sound design, all this, you know, great gunplay, great mechanics. Dude, I still must be able to it, man. Like, Gobble Gums, like, don't get me wrong, yeah, Gobble Gums got OP by the time Chronicles dropped, but even then, like, Gobble, Gobble, Gobble Gums, like, helped bring in a new layer of depth as well, because you had to remember your Gobble Gums cycle, so you could best optimize your Gobble Gums during the game. So you knew, okay, if I hit the Gobble Gums six times, boom, I get this thing as my first, second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever. And you could like strategize, so you know, 
Okay, I went down. I need to headshot people. Actually, there we go. Um, no, like, I don't know, man. Like, no and let me mention like the the skull and Softway, the Gauntlet of Siegfried, dude. Ev oh. the, like, you actually earn your specialists. You earn the OP stuff, right? Like, I don't know, man. Like, like build. Uh, if you guys are interested, I, I think what I'll do, I think I might cover like a retrospective for every map on in Zombies, all the ones I'm familiar with, the ones I know how to play. I must destroy more demons to my desire. And there we go. Yeah. <sighs> Lovely. Anyway, point being, like, I, I don't know, man. Like, BO3 was like the pinnacle of Zombies for a reason. Like, the all the maps were good. The mechanics were good. The movement felt good. Like... The, like the the worst map we got in, in here was Revelations. Or, well, depending on who you ask. Generally, some people dislike Zetsubo, but it, it like two possible weak or bad maps out of what one, two, three, four, like what six. And then of course you have the eight remasters from Chronicles. Like Chronicles itself. Like let's not even let's not even bring that up. Like the like Chronicles was the most sold DLC, like d downloadable content pack I think in PlayStation history. That might be overselling it, but I, I remember like it got a huge like claim, a huge praise because of how much or how many people bought Chronicles, right? Like it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like it's crazy to think about. Like a zombie, like boom, like fourteen maps. Like you had all all the Easter eggs. You had the first Super Easter egg. I mean, the Super Easter egg wasn't that great in this game, but still, like you had the first one. The gobble, like yeah, the gobblegums, like sure they got OP, but I rather I kind of I kind of prefer having the OP gobblegums that don't like mess with your D-pad. Like the elixirs, like the elixirs are more balanced, and yeah, you can kind of have whatever one you want on on deck. Like just press right on the D-pad, boom, you get your perk all of like I don't know, man. Like I I kind of like the you know like like figuring out what you're gonna get and when, and and where it's up, and also like. I don't know, man. Like, I, there's there's good and good good and bad things on each game, right? Generally, I think BO4 has more negatives than positives, even though I still love playing the game. Like, I, I don't know, I still I still just have fun just shooting zombies. Like, it's always gonna be fun. But um, like pound for pound for me, I think I think BO3. I don't know, man. Like, if I, if I got back into the game, like seriously, and I actually played it a lot more, and actually kind of hopefully learned Dorizon and Gorod, like like and maybe even Shadows to a lesser extent. The Shadows might be too hard though because the beast move beast mode messing with your sound but uh i oh, dude like these map like even if i can't play them all the while, even if i can't do a whole lot i dude these are you got a bit of bo1 you got a bit of bo2 you got you got all built like you got a bit of every kind of you got Zelensky, you got a bit of blundell you got you got a good mix of everything dude like it's it's <coughs> and then build and we'll talk build for another day but the other thing is like you got this is the first introduction of weapon kits. Like, you can actually customize your guns and, like, make them feel a little better. Like, they're not the most influential things. Not like BO4. BO4s and Cold War's weapon kit systems or, like, um, mechanics like that are a little out there, right? Like, Cold War, you have, like, everything. BO4, you have the weapon mods. But, uh, like, BO3, like, your stuff really doesn't help all that much. Like, the most influential attachments are usually fast mags or rapid fire for, for almost any gun. Like, just... Fast mass rapid fire, boom! You're you're gonna have a bit of double tap and a bit of speed, bit of speed cola, but it's not as good as either one. But it, then you combine double tap with a bit of rapid fire and speed cola with a bit of fast mags, and boom! I mean, same idea with cold with uh, cold or I suppose, but the uh, and and the uh, BL4 because BL4 you get speed cola built in with all four perks. But I don't know, like I, like the the weapon kits were kind of fun. Like you actually, I don't know. And then, like, the, the ammo mods. The ammo mods in BO3 were, like, stupidly strong, man. Blast Furnace could take out whole hordes. Deadwire is still stupid. Deadwire is the kills the astro astronaut in, in Moon, apparently. So, like, if you struggle with the astronaut in Moon, boom, you got a bit of depth right there. Throw in Deadwire. Insta-kill that bat bastard. Then, like, apparently, dead and nukes counteract monkeys or, like, deal with monkey rounds stupidly easy. So, of course, if you have a bunch of dead and nuclear winners, just load them up. And then, boom, just drop them on monkeys. You keep all your perks. You don't lose nothing. Like, like that's the thing. It's like BO3. Generally, yeah, a lot of the community might prefer BO1, BO1 Pierce, and all that. But as far as I'm concerned, like, uh, 
um, anyway, as far as I'm concerned, like, BO3, like, the, the mechanics and the gumbo gums and, and movement and stuff kind of fix a lot of the problems I had with BO1. The like, BO1 is fun, it's iconic, sure, but, like, I didn't really get a whole lot of it. Um, aside from, yeah, it's, it's good, it's fun to go around, like, go for high rounds, but that's about it, like, um, like, like, I don't know, like, it, 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 trying to, as you know, I don't do scripts, right, so I, I try and just, you know, free flow and just go with it, um, like I said, like, just talking about it, thinking about it, remembering the community, like, remembering all the, the, the like, like Jason Blundell visiting JC Backfire for Chronicles. Like, I remember, I remember watching that. I remember watching that uh, stream. Or I think you streamed it. Same with Tom, uh, Syndicate, 115 game, and Kino back on BO1. Like, I remember that. There's debates if it's forged or not or modded or whatever, but dude, like, it doesn't matter. To me, it doesn't matter if it's mod or not. Like, he still did it. Like, I don't know what he would have done to be cheating or modding or whatever. Like, it, it, it clearly didn't impact it because I remember watching him do it. Or, um, Unless he just did upload, I, my memory's stupid. Come on. Oh my god, dude. I am so bad. But yeah, no, but that, that's the biggest hurdle I'm having is like the sound is like so different from Cold War and uh, BO4, right? So it's like trying to get used to it again. And like the mechanics and like three hits, like boom, like I was I was hit like quick, like like no, like Cold War and before now they they'd take a minute to swing, but no, here's like no, nah, you're just gonna get smacked up, easily. But it's like too, like the the points too, like I didn't I, I forgot how good we had it with original points. It's like boom, five shots to the chest, eight to the leg, you know different like mechanical differences. Like for me, what I used to do was, I think it was knife everything around one, six or seven bullets to the chest, round two knife. And then by the end of round two, I should be out on the MR6. And then uh, one burst with the RK5 and knife. And, like, just maximizing your points. And then, boom, you could probably, like, open up a good chunk of the map. Depending on what map you're playing or, like, get a gun or something. And it's, like... Like, I... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, like like I said, I love Cold War. I, I, I Because the mechanics and the gunplay, they feel great. The, like, and, like the, the maps, too. Like, going from Darius and, like, a frozen castle... In I think it's Austria, right? Like a frozen castle and like the wolves and the, like the story of Dresden, it's really cool. And then you go from that to Gora, like flying dragons and Stalingrad with mechs, like dude. And then like that's what, like the setting for that's like like so much variety. And of course you just compound all that with Chronicles. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. It, it was like terrible gameplay, but I was just I want to get off my chest. Want to talk about it a little bit. So. If you guys did enjoy, if you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch over at TJ the Blind Gamer. And do got, I do have a Twitter and Discord. Um, links somewhere on the channel, I think, in the about section. Um, but yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'm planning on streaming either BO3 or 4 tonight, maybe Cold War. I, don't, I haven't decided yet. Kind of depends who's online, who does, who wants to do what. So, guess we'll see. So, thanks, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys. Our next video.